Hello everyone and welcome to my sewing corner. This is episode 6 in my DIY couture cocktail dress series where I show you how I made a couture dress at home. This is the final video where I show you the dress and tell you how much it costs me to make and then just share my final thoughts about the dress. In previous episodes I showed you how to perfect the muslin, prepare the underlining, assemble the dress, and attach the lining. At first I wasn't sure if I could make the perfect dress, but I put in the time, the effort, and acquired the knowledge, and after 60 hours of working on the dress, here it is. Now you can see the dress. I was able to make my perfect dress. It fits like a glove and it's an absolute dream. It's so awesome, I love it. I was able to finish the dress in time for my birthday and to wear it out for our anniversary dinner, which happens to be on the same day. And it was just so much fun and it totally surprised me at how much it just feels like a glove. It's amazing. And you may be wondering, how much did it cost? So the dress cost me $193 to make. What that includes is obviously all of the fabric. The outer fabric was the most expensive. It was $90 total and it was $60 a yard. So I had a yard and a half equaling 90. And then the two fabrics on the inside, the purple silk lining and the black silk organza together were $66. The zipper in the back was $1.50. And then the pattern for the top of this dress that I bought right before I made this was 35. And that was the Charm Patterns by Gertie, the night and day dress. And then I had all of the thread and the silk thread on hand and then the pattern for the skirt portion. So I had those already but it would have only added a small amount above that 193. So for under $200, I have a custom couture dress that's just so fancy and I love it. And I think that's a huge deal. I hope that you've really enjoyed this series and the journey of different steps of making this dress. And if you'd like to see my future videos, you can click subscribe and the bell alert and you'll be notified anytime that I post a video. And for my most emotional and heartfelt thoughts about this dress, I wanna share a video that I recorded shortly after I basted the dress together and tried it on and had this realization that, oh my goodness, it fits and I love it. So I just, I felt very emotional and I recorded a video in the moment it's raw and it's real emotion and I hope that you find it honest and inspiring. Here it is. So I just basted the bodice to the skirt and I wanted to share. I feel so emotional <laughs> and I started crying because I never thought that I would be able to do this. And it's one of those moments when you do something and you're so proud for pushing beyond what you could ever think possible. And it's just a silly dress, but it's not at the same time. It's something I've been, I've always thought it would be so cool. Like you watch a runway show and you see the dresses and you're like, those are so beautiful. That would be really fun to wear one. And then to make it yourself and go beyond what you think you're capa capable of doing and putting in the time and so many hours on this project. And it's like, I have two days to finish it. And I can totally see it. I'm gonna, I'm going to do it. Something that scared me for so long. Just watch, you know, see, sitting this, seeing this fabric sitting there 
that John encouraged me to buy, I wouldn't have bought it on my own. And he just said, you're worth $60 a yard fabric. And then to actually go through this process and cut into it and confidently make every single stitch and put it together and it fits and it looks beautiful and it's not even done. I mean, <laughs> there's not even a zipper in this. I'm just feeling so incredibly proud. And I didn't ever go to fashion school and there's no reason why I should be able to do this other than I just put in the time to learn, to be a student on my own. That's such an important thing in life is to be curious and want to learn and to do it and to push through the hard things. And I'm just in that moment where I'm feeling it and I'm so grateful and I'm so excited to wear this. It's like the best birthday gift that I could give to myself. And it's not about the dress. It's learning what you're capable of capable of doing and being and surprising yourself. I'm just sitting here at my desk. <laughs> I'm not in a couture house. I'm just, that's my desk. This is my space. My little corner of creativity. And everything around me is a gift. This was for my birthday from John and his parents. I wouldn't have got it for myself. And John got me my serger and my mom got me my sewing machine and my first sewing machine. And John got me this desk so that I could sew and put it away when our girls were really young and babies and they couldn't get into scissors. Everything and the lights John got me. It's just, people will believe in you and then you'll believe in you. And it's just the best gift. I'm so grateful and I'm so proud and I'm so excited to wear this and I can't get any tears on it. <laughs> Go do something. Prove to yourself how talented you are and how capable you are and love to learn. Bye. Oh, I should actually sign off with go get creative and make something you love. <laughs>